Welcome to the sneak peek of Simufoct Additive 3.1. This video will give you a first impression of a typical workflow to simulate with Simufoct Additive, the solution for simulating additive manufacturing processes. We will jump right into the creation of a new project. After selecting the directory and naming the project, the process properties will be popped up where several settings can be pre-selected or pre-defined. For example a specific AM machine which can be selected from the library. Furthermore, the process chain can be adjusted by adding, deleting or moving single stages. In this example we add a heat treatment stage to the process chain, after the build stage, followed by cutting the part from the base plate and removing the support structures. These modular stages allow you to design a simulated process chain as close as possible to your real one. Now we want to import the part that is supposed to be printed, an engine mount. After selecting the geometry file, the part can now be pre-positioned on the base plate. Once the part is successfully imported to the process, the geometry can be positioned with the positioning tool afterwards. In this example, the orientation assistant will be used to get the optimized orientation of the part based on certain criteria. After calculating all possible orientations of the part, the ball indicates favorable and unfavorable cases. Furthermore, single criteria can be ranked or even deactivated to take these parameters for the orientation assistant into account. Let's take this orientation to print the engine mount. Simufact Additive offers the possibility to directly generate support structures for your part. For this example, we generate the support structure with the embedded materialized support structure generation functionality. Next, we activate the consideration of the base plate deformation, select a base plate, as well as a powder material from the Simufact library. In the manufacturing widget, we can do some fine tuning to the build properties. We set up a heat treatment after the build stage. Define the way the part will be cut from the base plate. And last which support structures should be removed. Last but not least we generate the finite element voxel mesh for the components with non-uniform elements. Afterwards we are almost ready to start the simulation. As an all-in-one solution, Simufact Additive comes with an integrated post-processor. In Simufact Additive, you are able to analyze the results after or during a running simulation. In this demo you can see the effective stress as a result value of your component during the build stage. Please note the information about the progress of the current stage in the status box at the bottom left. In Simufact Additive, you can easily change the result value and adjust the color legend in the result view, interactively. In this example we change the result value from effective stress to temperature for the heat treatment process. According to the process chain that we set up earlier, we now cut the component from the base plate and remove the support structures while examining the total displacement. Now we will apply the shape comparison between calculated part and the initial part. Therefore, the calculated part will be moved away from the initial part to demonstrate the best fit function.
Once the part is in its best fit position to the initial shape, the calculation of the shape deviation can be started. Next, we will change the color legend to 3 colored measurement legend and adjust the upper and lower bounds. We hope you have enjoyed this sneak peek of Simiafoct Additive 3.1. Thank you for your attention.